Well, preparing your children for college and universities in a global marketplace is a daunting proposition with many different schools of thought. One program with proven results for success in education and in the career marketplace is the People to People Student Ambassador Program. Joining us this morning is Angela McRae, a sixth grade teacher, bless your heart, from Jacksonville, Florida, and Dan Dominich, Executive Director of the American Association of School Administrators to discuss why these types of programs should be a fundamental part of a child's overall all educational experience. Good morning to the both of you. Good Thank morning. you for having us. First off, what we want to do is we just want to take a quick look, if we could, at the People to People Student Ambassador Program, all right? It's on this monitor right here. Let's take a look. means that we get to represent our country. To promote world peace and understanding between cultures. It's amazing. It's definitely an experience I'm never going to forget. But I've never been this far away from home and for this long and it really teaches you responsibility. The student ambassador is the potential peacemaker of the future. So when you look at that, it's easy to see, Dan, why you are so passionate. <laughs> about this cross-cultural experience for students. Absolutely, well you saw that, what a terrific opportunity for a young person you know, to travel abroad yes. and to go to places that they have read about, uh, that they have studied in school, but there they are, in person. So let me ask you point blank, how does this program actually fit into kind of the whole educational system? Well, it fits in very well because it's an extension of the classroom. Okay, it, it's an opportunity to, to hands-on experience the, many of the things that they read about and talk about in school. Angela, now I know that you're kind of a veteran uh, of this program. You've taken students to where? Europe and Asia and Australia. A lot of checks there on your passport, I'm sure. What do you think are the common things that students kind of take away from this experience? It's amazing what a two-week international program can do for a student. Students return from the programs, they're excited, they're engaged, they're motivated because they've done something that many people will only dream about. So they've been away from their parents for two weeks, so now they're making decisions on their own. Um, they are, have become a little bit more mature. Uh, they've become better thinkers and uh, they manage their time much better. And then Dan talked a little bit about this being kind of an extension of the classroom. As a teacher yourself, how do you see this? It is an extension. People to People has created a learning environment for students to travel on an international experience. And so now they are valuable contributors to class discussions. How does this then go from the classroom then like the high school or junior high or elementary school level and then kind of help their experience as they head on into success in college and beyond? Dan? Well, look at it. We're, we, we all talk now about the global community. Sure. And we're very much aware right now that at the corporate sector, businesses are looking to hire individuals that have that kind of an experience, that have that cultural awareness. You know, I'm here smiling, Angela, because I'm thinking as many times as you've been abroad with these students, I know there has got to be one story <laughs> of a student that you have traveled with that kind of really brings home this discussion that we're talking about this morning. There are many life-changing stories, but one student in particular, she still carries the title of student ambassador even long after her travels, and that's Nola. She was a sixth grader that traveled on our program to Australia. Nola was the youngest in our delegation. She was turning 13 on the program in Australia. So that was a little bit tough for her. But while on program, Nola developed into this little shining star because she helped the other delegates to experience the program without being afraid of stepping out of their comfort zone. So Nola today, she's still that shining star in her community. And I think that her time management skills that she was able to develop while on the program has really helped her to manage those two things. Well, I, I absolutely think that this program is a slam dunk and it has been so great having you all on talking about it. Tremendous experience and now it's one that I'm thinking about for my own family. So thank you so much. You're welcome. Great to see you, Dan, and great to meet you, Angela. Mm -hmm. And if you want more information on the People to People program, simply go to the website, peopletopeople.com.